Excellent! <laughs> Dogs are pretty excited right now because I think an important package has just arrived. Something I'm really excited for. Here's a hero for scale. That is a massive package. And look, they put a shock dot on it, which apparently is not red. So I think that means it's good. So I think that means this week has officially started. It is Monday. Two weeks ago, I was on our family vacation to Yosemite. Last week was my wife's first week back at work. So it was actually my first time being a stay-at-home dad full-time for a couple days. So that was kind of exciting. This week is my first big attempt to get back into the swing of things. And that at last is the Spectre 2.0 case from Australia, from Singularity Computers, which I'm really excited to get to but uh, I've got other work to do first. I was trying to get on top of things by going with the old standard of making a list to stay on top of things, starting with videos for the week, starting with last night on Sunday night, getting some early stuff done so I could set myself up to do well this week. But today's video is gonna be kind of a behind the scenes, what goes on in between the other videos that I produce here in my channel at my house, because I've got a lot going on. Not only do I have my daughter, who's fortunately not here today because my parents are taking care of her, but I've also got the dogs, a YouTube channel to run, and a massive home improvement project that is like ready to go. So I have a bunch of stuff that I'm hopefully gonna get to this afternoon. I have a stretch list of stuff that I was trying to get done last week that I didn't have time to and I'm currently waiting on Joe to show up but I had to send him to Micro Center to pick up a couple pieces of hardware for projects later in the week and he should be arriving with those very soon and then we can get to work on the first video I'm making for this week. And that is going to be an unboxing on this Asus ROG Crosshair 8 Impact and the video on this might actually already be up by the time you guys see this video. But in order to shoot that, I should probably clear some of this stuff off first. Fuck, hurry up. What? Nothing, sir. That's what Joe always looks like behind the scenes. We are midway through shooting this video, uh, the unboxing overview of the Crosshair 8 Impact. And uh, I had to turn the air conditioner back on because it's September, but it's still getting hot out here. This is a fun little motherboard though. It's mini DTX and I already have a video going over it. So check that video out if you want to see more. Joe is always the height of professionalism and um, <laughs> everything when oh, we're yeah, working totally. together. <laughs> I am leaving him here to shoot some b-roll footage of the Crosshair 8 Impact while I go and do other things. Multitasking and time management are very, very key elements to getting stuff done and maintaining my sanity. That's also why I have to make certain decisions about videos that I'm producing. Like, for instance, just did an unboxing and overview of a motherboard and, uh, you know, I'll be honest, there's more I could do with a motherboard as far as testing and everything. And I am going to with that board because I'm doing another video with the system that I built out of it, but sometimes I just have to figure out a video that I can make, that I can make in a relatively reasonable amount of time. And uh, shooting that motherboard unboxing video, I think, made an interesting video, but it's also something that we were able to knock out in a couple hours, and now we can work on other stuff. Such as posting this video that I rendered out also this morning. All right, thumbnail and video are uploaded there. And for our Crosshair 8 Impact project, we are currently copying loads of footage there as well. I think that's uh, time for lunch break now. So we stopped at Farmer Boys for some healthy food like uh, salad. Salad's always healthy, especially with ranch dressing. I got, oh, a, yeah. I got a club sandwich. They make a really good club sandwich here. Making very good progress on the list. Uh, we ate lunch, of course. I fed the dogs. That is not on the list, but it's important to feed the dogs. They, they do enjoy getting food. Uh, and I posted the video for today because that's what I do. I post YouTube videos. Don't, don't film. There's, there's stuff on this desk, so. Uh, I have this that just arrived from Enermax. This is the ETS T50 Axe, uh, which is an RGB version of their ETS T50, available in black or white. We're doing a pre roll for this, so we need to bust it out and take some sexy B-roll footage of that. And I got the CES registration email. Registration is now open. CES always does free registration if you've been there before, but they only keep it open for like four or five weeks. Free registration, if you're gonna register for CES, is open through October 16th. After that, you have to pay. You better sign up now. Oh, look who qualifies as media this year. One million or more YouTube subscribers. Hey. All right, CES registration is submitted. And according to my list, that is the majority of the important stuff that we needed to take done, take take care of today has now been taken care of. Right, Joe? Let's 
getting thin for some reason. Maybe hand, hand me your wallet. It's thin for a reason, Paul. So. Oh yeah, I should I should pay Joe. <laughs> pay Joe some money. How about that? Nine thousand dollars, awesome. Sent Joe his his regular money that I usually pay him, as well as his reimbursement for his stop by Micro Center. Joe was picking up a couple key items for me. This is the ML 120R RGB Master Liquid All-in-One Liquid Cooler, and uh, we got this because apparently all of the all-in-one liquid coolers that I have have all become 360 millimeter now for some reason. Needed a 120 to fit in the TU-150 case back there because I wanted to upgrade it to more something that lines up with the full potential of the case. We also have this motherboard right here, uh, which is from ASRock. This is the X570M Pro 4 because another build that I'm working on this month is actually a Corsair Hydro X water-cooled system. For that, I decided to go with the Corsair 280X case, which is a micro ATX case. So I want a micro ATX, and I wanted AM4, and I wanted preferably a newer motherboard. And there's really only like one micro ATX AM4 X570 motherboard, and that's this one from Azra. As you can see, I just opened this up though, and it's the wrong motherboard. Are you serious? <laughs> no way. Yeah, I could sell right when I looked at it. This is a B450M Pro 4 motherboard from ASRock. This is gonna have to be returned back to Micro Center so that they can deal with it from there. And since Joe is the one who bought this this morning, I think he's gonna be have to be the one to return it to. Ah, snarf. I wanna get this at least unpackaged because as we've just seen opening our Micro Center stuff, which did not ship from really far overseas, it's possible to have stuff arrive that isn't exactly how it's supposed to be. Do you help? Uh, yeah, I probably need your help. Thanks, Joe. Oh, God. Is that video okay? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Case comes with its own case. That's funny. Look, you guys, Singularity Computers, and they put uh, they put a Pulse Hardware thumb screw logo on there too. That's right. Yes, yeah. that's not full of them. So I know this probably doesn't look super pretty yet because I'm still leaving most of the plastic on it to keep stuff protected, but at least wanted to give you guys a first look at this Spectre 2.0 case from Singularity. Big thank you to them for sending it over. I have a really, really epic build planned in this like really soon, so I'm looking forward to it. I think one of the last things I'm missing uh, that I hope is available pretty soon is that 3950X because I really would really love to pair that with the MSI Godlike X570 motherboard, but I think anytime you get a case like this and it comes with its own case that it shipped in like that um it means it's a it's a pretty impressive case rounding out our work for the day joe is helping shoot some sexy sexy b-roll for this air cooler which we're making a pre-roll ad for for Enermax. thanks Enermax, for supporting paul's hardware if you're wondering how i set up stuff like this why are you laughing what's so funny Jeez, because I told I said sexy twice. We repeat the word sexy and Joe loses the shit. If you're wondering how we set up stuff like this, it helps to not have to connect it up to a regular computer. So we have this little device, uh, which is just an AC adapter, a Molex plug on the other end, and it's got a little button here so I can actually connect that up to my Zalman fan controller right there, which has a PWM controllable output at the back. And oftentimes with RGB lighting, as long as you got the power going, you'll get some RGB as well. Well, it's Wednesday now. Yesterday uh, I spent most of the day working on this project right here and of course getting ready for the awesome hardware live show which we broadcast last night from Kyle's place. So far I've swapped in uh, the all-in-one 120 millimeter liquid cooler although unfortunately there's not enough space to do push-pull because of the size of the pump there which I'm sure I will point out in this video. I do have more work to do on it though of course I still need to swap in uh, the Crosshair 8 impact and then I'll need to continue to do a few more tests with it in that configuration but uh, that's not my primary goal today. My primary goal today is childcare because because we have a daughter and the way we're doing it now is a couple days out of the week I am the primary caregiver uh, which I guess makes some sense I'm her dad but fortunately right now she's asleep must be very quiet but there she is so my MO for days like today is to focus all my attention on Hana getting her taken care of but 
I should have a few brief periods uh, when she falls asleep that I can actually get some work done. Fortunately though, we do have some technology so I can keep an eye on her remotely. Okay, it's Thursday now. And to sum up yesterday, uh, the answer was no. Uh, my wonderful, lovely daughter gave me pretty much zero time to do anything besides watch her. Uh, watching her was great and awesome and loads of fun, but it does mean I'm a little bit behind on what I was gonna try to get done this week, but uh, today, Thursday, Joe's coming back, he should be here any minute. We're going to try to finish off or get as much done as on that TU-150 build as I can. And then we're gonna work on water cooling stuff. I was gonna do uh, sort of a part one of the Corsair water cool build that I'm putting together, but the case has not arrived for that yet. So I think we're gonna, what we're gonna do instead is uh, an overview and maybe a test fitting in that Singularity PC Spectre 2.0. When we're working in the garage, this is what it sounds like when the air conditioner is on. Now I'm gonna turn it off quieter, but uh, and it also starts to get hot in here. But uh, Joe's here now. Actually, Joe's been here for a while now. Uh, he got here much earlier today. And we did test fitting, yay, on the Singularity system, uh, which is looking pretty good, looking pretty sweet. But we're pretty much done working uh, for today. It's it's Thursday still, by the way. But guys, I am going to end this video too. Thank you so much for watching. This has been my little behind the scenes of uh, this week of whatever the heck week it has been. Trying to break off more than I can chew, I think. Trying to do an extra video. I'll all that stuff I talked about at the beginning, as far as work on the house, I've done nothing towards any of that. So uh, maybe tomorrow, Friday, when I'm watching Hana again, I can work on some of that stuff. But chances are probably not, because Hana does require a lot of attention. But it's good. It's very rewarding. But anyway, guys, I guess that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much again for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. We'll see you next week with more videos here on Paul's Hardware. Goodbye.